our second day in Cairo, we've decided to come back to the pyramids on our own to take a longer look at the unusual things that we've seen that don't really add up and the things that we don't really understand so that we can research later. Um, even just on this front side, we don't really get why they're not letting us in the main entrance and they're letting us down the shaft and they're saying it's the back entrance, which doesn't make any sense at all. Why wouldn't you open the main entrance? Loads of blocks have come out, fallen out, been taken away. And then there's no, a couple of doing uh, a video. And then there's a couple of uh, holes in this block over here, which seem to be very square, almost functional of some sort. They don't look decorative, and they're not in any other blocks. Yeah, it looks like something fits into it. of this pyramid you can clearly see that they've made an effort to make it smooth so that it is pyramid shaped it's it's a smooth it's not stepped i can't see that anywhere other than the lower couple of levels of some of the pyramids so you can see it in the granite of the second pyramid um, and you can see it here and you can see it on some parts of um, the third pyramid as well but it's just strange that that's not all the way around the Great Pyramid at all. Um, yeah, there's no granite around the no Great Pyramid. No granite around the Great Pyramid. It doesn't look like they've made an effort to make it more smooth. I can't see that it had any other kind of cover. It just... Honestly, it looks like a just huge, massive pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be incredibly hard to put together. So this bit here is literally just a casing and it looks like, I don't know why they would have done it for the wife and daughters, but they didn't do it for the Great Pyramid if they were all built for the Kings, because the King's Pyramid would be the best, surely. But apparently these ones still have their casings on and um, the, just the joins on this casing is significantly better. Like, why is it amazing at the bottom level yeah. and then it just gets crap everywhere above the bottom level? Yeah, that makes no sense. So now we feel like we're properly exploring. We've just kind of come away from the main area and there's still like ruins all the way around. And we're behind the three uh, smaller pyramids for the wives and daughters. And apparently there's like a, some kind of tomb over there. But like no tourists are here. And you just get to walk around the ruins. There's no, nothing blocking you. It's, yeah, really interesting. Just look at these uh, two rocks there that have obviously come apart. But if you get in close, you can see just how precise that is, how straight. Because you don't really get a sense of that when they're kind of stuck together. Yeah. But seeing that gap. What is that? So, I found another one of these things, just at the end of this, what looks like a kind of pyramid base. 
place, as Charlie has pointed yeah, it's out. it's kind of weird. Around the last, behind the last three, like, wives and daughters mini pyramids, next to the Great Pyramid, there's, like, what looks like tons of these little bases to pyramids, as if they were going to build another eight more or something. And this one has two small, weird entrance-looking things. Yeah, no hieroglyphs, though. Okay, and you can see the, uh, they've, like, tooled or machined the side. Interesting. And then, uh, down over here, it looks like as if there was, this was, uh, wet cement, and someone's just put their fingers through I it. I think that, There's again, is that. like, tool marks, where they've done something wrong, or got the tool got jammed, maybe? Something, isn't it? So we just found this little room. With, oh wow, this has hieroglyphs all over it. Yeah, this looks Egyptian. The guy who just passed, he was, he's a guide and he's saying that these were all tombs. Yeah, these camel people don't know, don't know anything at all. And, my God, you can see inside. Nick, this is clearly a door of some kind, I think, and there's a crack in it and you can actually see in. But look at these hieroglyphics, this is amazing. And this is all, this isn't... Look, the hieroglyphs go all the way around. Yeah. Behind you, down here. Yeah, and this, this area isn't signposted or included in any tours or anything. This is us walking away from the pyramids out into random ruins and just, just exploring. Go check out what this thing is. Oh, yeah, I'm going in. Shotgun, any treasure we find? Okay, just a uh, just a tunnel. It seems to be very, very really significant watermark. Yeah, very interesting. Very crudely made, though. So mm. I would have no idea. It's just been dug out, whatever How? it is, it's been dug out and... Yeah, not much care or thought has gone into this, whatever this... Whatever this may be. This is another example of these really small structures we're seeing dotted around. And this one clearly has a door of uh, some kind, a natural room, with more hieroglyphs. Yeah, this... And you've got uh, wood still in, the, still in the rocks. I wonder how old this is. Let's try and have a look inside. Just on stuck top. on the side, isn't it? Stuck on the side, so a tomb is like added to this. So this is another one of the rooms that we found. They're all built just on the outside of what looks like the um, high technology pyramid base box. Um, so they're sort of attached on. And this room you can see in, and again, you've got another door to nowhere. I think that these are the tombs for the Egyptians. Mm. And at the back, and there's the, another one of those. Uh, it's all almost identical to the other one we saw. I think it's uh, for safe passing to the afterlife. Right, 
try and get them to connect. Yes, you can see how some of the stones connect. Uh, so on the surface, it might just look like uh, like a, a normal right yeah. angle one block fitting into another, but actually further down, there's more of a jigsaw going on below the surface. This is so impressive, I don't even know if it's been um, uh, reno renovated because yeah. it's so good. But no, it, has, it can't good. do. Look at the, look at the, the, uh, the joints there. So what's interesting here is completely different architecture. On one side you've got the, um, the really, really good flat, smooth limestone perfectly cut and then over here on this side down this row you've got the um, what I can only describe as the puffy stones that uh, that you see in Inca, Inca stuff so there's more puffy stones on this side and then it just goes flat changes again to but then completely still, the flat joins over here the joints here do not compare to the joints that we've seen over there Oh, hey, look at this. Yeah, maybe. Can't get a butter knife in there. Maybe these are just eroded. So this is just kind of in, in the structure, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, obviously you can see there would be rocks here and everything that have just completely collapsed. And here, I'm not too comfortable being here. So this looks like in much better condition than most of the, the other things, but... Still buried and pretty much unexcavated. Yeah, look at this. Does it have one of those stones at the back? It's got a stone here. I can't see the stone at the back, but then I can't see around the corner. So I think it's probably around the corner. Yeah, look, hieroglyphs all over. rock. Don't know what's going on here. Yeah, it's red. Red and gold are these, I mean I want to say seashells but... It looks kind of like cement of some sort. Maybe, or We've fossilized yeah, something. Fossilized. Weird. It's just here in the middle of the Egyptian ruins that not many people walk down. Again you've got the fossilized bits in this. Oh yeah? yeah. Oh yeah, I see. But it's only in this, in like certain rocks, it's not in all yep. of them. But yeah, that's like a doorway so much. Because it goes under and then it's like a small, I don't know, almost like... Look at the zigzag pattern on the, on the back wall. Yeah. Ooh. It's like a zigzag of an arrow pointing right. <laughs> yeah, clearly some kind of tool and there's a lot of beam hooks almost, like dents in the wall where it looks like there would be Where they would supporting beams or something, yeah. yeah. Wow, just again, just in the middle of, middle of nowhere.
Okay, good. So now here you've got the lower levels which are immaculate. They are properly, properly done. If you go higher up, if you look at all this, it's literally just somebody dumped the bottles together. They're not even, in a lot of places, they don't even join. They're just filled in with crap and smaller rocks. And but they are huge. Yeah, I mean, there's no denying these are absolutely huge. Yeah, but even saying that, these rocks that don't quite fit together are clearly hiding behind there because you've got that coming yeah. right up to here. I think they've just mashed a few rocks together and then they've done a nice outside. Yeah. You don't think this is nice no. level all the way? No. I don't think so because if you look, this level that you're even looking at now, over there, it's completely covered. Okay. Okay. That's my thought. But you think it goes perfect all the way through? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The outside just looks like a pretty covering. Yes. They just they don't care about the inner blocks at all. Well, as you can see here, clearly you've got the outer stones which are lovely, and then you've got the inner blocks that are not crap. So yeah, they've only the inside of the outer blocks. Yeah, they've only paid attention to the outer blocks. strange how on one side you've got completely smooth, haven't you? And then you step away from that and it's completely different. So this is a bigger version of the small tooth over there. This has got hieroglyphs all up these walls. Oh wow. But they're very eroded and then inside... Oh, no, it's not even on the outside, this is just erosion. So this bit here has been built around that tomb it looks like um, or been repurposed for. We believe that this is the Egyptian brickwork, however it doesn't have anything matching the smoother stuff. The small smooth yeah. stuff. The bases of the pyramids. But for example this bit here has just got some on the outside, none of the other buildings None of the smooth stuff has any hieroglyphs on. This has got like some hieroglyphic tablet and it actually goes under the sand. It's not fully excavated. Hmm. Boat things. Maybe, maybe they did put boats in there. There's allegedly a boat was found in one of the pyramids and is in that building there. This is interesting. Oh, this is interesting. You can see inside. That's strange. Yeah, all from one piece. But you can see it's quite primitive. I mean, look at look at that. Yeah. That's hardly right angle.
ancient ruins that is kind of off the tourist track, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we went to Saqqara and the pyramids and all very, very awesome. And if you do come to Giza and see the pyramids, are you recommending use a guide or not? Um, I would recommend getting a guide if you're just for a couple of hours to see the pyramids and then allowing extra time so that you can go on your own afterwards. Yeah, a, a bit of both. So one day with a guide and then go and revisit the places afterwards, I would say. Because the guides kind of rush you through. Yeah. Um, and they do kind of take you to all of their best friends' places uh, so that they can sell more stuff. Yeah, that was, that was annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pyramids are absolutely amazing. Come and investigate for yourself, because what you're taught in schools might not be true. Oh, did you know that the pyramids carbon dated, uh, they carbon dated the cement at the top of the pyramid that holds some of the bricks together? 3000 something BC, so like pre dynastic, before, like way, 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 hundreds of years before. It and was then they've done it again built. with only one person. Yeah, where... and then they did it a second time and the results were really, really shady. Yeah. Just because they, essentially, they try and fit everything they find in with their, like, existing... Religion. Yeah, <laughs> religion and their narrative of how the Egyptians were. When loads of ev evidence since has been discovered, but they just kind of ignore it or, um, or twist it to fit what they already kind of think. And it's like, um, that's not what history is about. Get the evidence and then work out the conclusion based on that, isn't it? Looking at but. some pictures from where some people climbed it and took pictures of themselves, illegally recently mm. um, there's actually some kind of writing at the top which doesn't look like just general graffiti it's too it's not modern it's like chis chiseled in yeah. isn't it yeah um, although it looks like the mod the english alphabet as opposed to anything egyptian which yeah, is a maybe, bit strange maybe yeah um, but yeah that's right at the top hmm and it doesn't look like it's just been scraped in there, it's too perfect. So yeah, very, very interesting. Highlights absolutely the pyramids. And in fact, all of it, the Sphinx, the pyramids, the Kara, it's all... It's amazing. It's all absolutely insane. We're coming back. Yeah, it's just a shame that uh, these uh, amazing places are in Egypt. <laughs>